what is pain is the purpose of pain only to cause pain or does it have some other deeper purpose is existence a sadist has it created pain just to watch as you read in pain and enjoy if that is the case then existence is a sadist because there's so much pain wherever you look sometimes you might not find joy you might not find peace but you don't have to go far to find pain it's always there so much so that pain seems to be the main fabric on which life moves the movement of life is simply the painting on the fabric the fabric itself is pain so no matter how you move where you go as long as you are attached to the fabric of life you are attached to pain you cannot escape pain if pain did not have any deeper purpose then it is easy to conclude that life is the work of some madman it was created not in a moment of joy not in a moment of ecstasy but to punish but life has no need no necessity to punish you if punishment is the ultimate objective why does life heal why does life care why has life given you so much intelligence that you can use to go beyond all your pains if its purpose is to inflict pain if its purpose is to trap you in the prison of pain why has it given you the keys to break free from that prison how is it that you can think about pain how is it that you can talk about pain the easiest way to inflict pain is to inflict it quietly inflict it without giving a clear understanding of what that pain is but that's not how life is we know the source of our pain it only takes a little bit of inquiry little bit of understanding pain is not a total mystery to us it is mystery to the one who has not watched pain who has only been thinking about pain who has only been trying to run away from pain avoid pain for the one who wants to understand pain pain easily reveals its mysteries that by itself says that pain as a deeper purpose the only thing is it has a language of its own pain does not understand human language nor can you use human language to understand pain it has its own vocabulary it has its own grammar it has its own rules of communicating its message learning about life is in a way learning about pain what is pushing you to understand life if there is no pain if there is no discomfort what is the necessity to long for your higher self is it possible that pain 
is how existence reminds you to search for your higher self. Because imagine, if there was no such thing as pain, you would be lost in this dream world forever. You would never know. You would be playing one game after another after another endlessly, creating your own imaginary games, creating your own imaginary rules, going deeper and deeper to altogether forget that you're lost. When you look at it from this perspective, pain as a teacher, you will not run away from pain. You would actually thank pain. If you truly understand what pain is, you will make it your closest companion because nobody is as honest with you as pain is. Pain never lies to you. You can try and cover up the pain. You can reduce its intensity. For a while, you can think you have conquered pain, but the truth of pain always reveals itself. As much as we keep on complaining and criticizing pain, it will continue to do its job. It will continue to show you the truth. If there is a problem in your mind, if there is a problem in your body, even if you criticize pain, even if you condemn it, even if you command it not to disturb you, it will silently keep on doing its work because it is true to its nature. Pain is your friend. It is not your enemy. Pain does not exist for the sake of pain. There is a deeper purpose for pain. Pain is your way of understanding things. Pain illuminates your path of life. Take away pain you are totally lost in the dark wilderness of life. It's because there is pain, you look for the source of it. You try to go beyond it. It is because pain constantly reminds you that something is not right. While inflicting pain, it is also reminding you that your true nature is not of pain. At that very moment, when you're experiencing pain, you're also trying to go beyond it. You don't just completely accept pain. You don't surrender to pain. Even a little bit of disturbance, little bit of pain, you are constantly looking for a way to go beyond it. Now, who is giving you these instructions? If not for pain itself. Pain comes. Pain speaks to you in its own language to remind you of that part of your being that knows nothing about pain. A part that you have moved very far away from. And you have created a world of your own. You have created rules of your own. And you have totally forgotten that you have drifted away from home. The only companion who is still with you from the beginning and who will be there with you till the end, constantly reminding you that this is not your true home. You have to move higher. You have to understand life. You have to understand yourself. That constant companion is pain. Mm -hmm.